Praise God. Viewers, you're welcome to this special episode. And we rejoice in the Lord because of what he's doing. We honor him for the grace, the energy. And as we meet before his, his presence day by day, you shall be saturated with the glory and the honor from heaven. Look at what the psalmist says in Psalm 73 verse 25. He said, Whom have I in heaven but thee? And there is none upon earth that I desire beside thee. We did say some time in the series we we're running that the major reason God speedily answers your prayer is because of the organic, intimate relationship you create with him. Prayers are answered on the basis of this. The psalmist has come to a point and said, I will rise early. I will seek you early because you are the only one I have both in heaven and on earth. Men may disappoint me, but Sammy says, who do I have in heaven but thee? And who on earth besides thee? As you, you, you allow God and his mighty hand to surround you, as you seek the might of his, of, of his protective hand every day, as you seek the providence of his providing hands every day, the Lord shall saturate you with the blessings of his presence. In the name of Jesus, uh, you are welcome to this special episode today. Victory over frustration. That's what we've been looking at. And I kept saying and shouting it. You are not defenseless. In fact, some would say you are too defended to be a victim. You are not defenseless. Look at what the scripture says. Psalm 31. He said, In thee, O Lord, do I put my trust. That's, that's, what, that's what you need to frustrate the devil. Frustrate the world. Frustrate the imaginations of men. Frustrate even your own fear. In thee, O Lord, do I put my confidence, my trust. I am rested in your word. When I see your word, what your word has said, I am rested in it. I believe it because you are God. That's what trust is. I believe it because you have done what you said before, you will do it again. That's what trust is. That's what generates confidence inside of you. He said, indeed do I put my trust. Let me never be ashamed. Deliver me in thy righteousness. God is too righteous to let the righteous be put to shame. The righteous, therefore, need to understand the power of faith, the power of confidence. God is too righteous to let the righteous be put to shame. The righteous, therefore, need to understand the power of faith because that is a performing instrument of God. That is the instrument that draws God into your situation, faith. He said, indeed, do I put my trust let me not be put to shame. Oh, my God. He said, deliver me in your righteousness. And he said, bow down thy ear to me. Deliver me speedily. This case must be critical. It must be desperate. Now, and some of you are going through such desperate situation right now. What, what, what do you say of a man who doctors have given up hope on? And said, you just can't do anything for you. It is desperate. And yet, this God will say, he said, he will come through for you. Glory to God. He said, deliver me speedily. Be thou my strong rock for an house of defense to save me. He said, for thou art my rock and my fortress. Therefore, for thy name's sake, lead me and guide me. To be delivered from frustration, you must believe in divine direction. When he leads you, when he guides you, there could be challenges along the way, but this is what happens when he is the one leading you. He holds your hand through the challenges. He takes you through those challenges that they have laid privately for me. These are the, the, the manipulations of men. They have laid a net privately for him he, so he could fall into and be destroyed. And you know, these days, you don't really have to do anything wrong for people to hate you anymore. You just need to know God. You just need to, 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 to know that in this wicked world, your faith in Christ is the only armor you have now. Praise God. Now, but the, the problem today is 
Uh, not many people are ready to spend the time anymore to develop the robust faith, develop their muscles of faith, and then the, uh, the kind of prayer that will seek God's intervention. Not many people are willing to, 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 to go through such moments anymore. We are no longer ready to spend the, the, the old time hours before God to, to worship him, to seek his face, to, to tell him who he is, and then tell him what the situation is. Now, we are a quick fix generation, an instant tea, instant coffee. So now our prayer is instant prayer, glory. Now, but God is still the same. God is still the same. Now, and if you care to take the word and step back on the word and come in the presence of the Lord and worship the Lord and, and tell him who he is, that God will show the world who he has made you to be. Amen. Now, he will help your faith. He will help you to frustrate every frustration around you. A prayer, a heartfelt prayer brings intervention. A heartfelt prayer frustrates the enemy. A heart, that's the reason most of the time when you want to pray that kind of prayer, it tries to make you sleep. Ever wonder, that is the time you want to read your Bible, and the time you want to spend time to pray that your phones keep jamming and ringing all, all, all over. Ever wonder why you, you start feeling sleepy when you want to start praying? Ever wonder, the devil hates that. That's the point you knock him silly. That's the place he loses battle. That's the place a prayer of faith dismantles the sinners of hell. A prayer of faith dismantles the sinners of hell. Oh my God, as you touch the hem of his garment, he will bring miracles your way. He will bring healings your way. He will bring the, 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 the power of God. You are too defended to be a victim, my friend. You are not defenseless. God is your defense. I share a story. I, was, uh, I read this story. Um, General Allen Bay, a Christian general, wonderful man. He led a British royal troop during one of the world wars, and his regiment was to capture Jerusalem. The talks have overrun Jerusalem, hundreds of thousands of them overrun Jerusalem, occupied Jerusalem, and here is General Allen Bay on a liberation mission. And he stood and prayed a prayer. Lord, I don't want to be part of destroying Israel. I don't want to be part of destroying Jerusalem. He said, this is your holy city. And he took the book of Isaiah. He said, Lord, this is your word. Oh, my God, I love this. Isaiah 35, 31 verse 5. General Allen Bay prayed from that scripture. Now, that scripture says, as bird flying, so will the Lord of hosts defend Jerusalem. He said, defending also, he will deliver it. And passing over, he will preserve it. Now, this is the word of God. Spoken thousands of years before Allen Bay was born. But General Allen Bay took the scriptures. Anchored his faith on the scriptures. And he said, God, I don't want to shoot. I have the armament. I have the men. I have the sophisticated weaponry to shoot and break down the city. But I don't want my hand to be part of breaking down Jerusalem. Show me, oh God. How you are going to defend Jerusalem. How you fly over Jerusalem and preserve it and defend it. Look, listen, you are too defended. If you get back to the world, to the root of your defense, to the root of your miracle, and pick it and show it back to God, the miracle happens on the platform of his word. You see, miracles happen because God is God. Number two, miracles happen because God respects his word. Number three, miracles happen because God respects your faith. This is miracle. Now, Alan Bay stood on the scripture. Isaiah 31 verse 5. As a bird flying, so the Lord of hosts will defend Jerusalem. Defending also, he will deliver it. And passing over, he will preserve it. And here is a general with sophisticated machine guns. With all manner of things that can break down the city in a minute and conquer the city. But he's praying, Lord, you say you will defend it. You say you will pass over it and preserve it. I said, my hand shall not destroy. When you want to preserve, show me how I will take over this city without destroying it. And he went to bed that night. And in the dream, he saw scout planes flying over Jerusalem. And he woke up early in the morning and said, Ha, ah, I got it. And he was going to send the sky and many scout planes into the air over Jerusalem. And he sent a lot of his scout planes into the air, flying over Jerusalem. Flying over Jerusalem. The Turks saw the scout planes, so many of them flying over Jerusalem. 
Now they had bows and arrows and horses. But this, these are plains. And everyone mounted their horse, took to their heels, and ran out of the city. And without shooting a bullet, General Alan Bay marched into that city and took Jerusalem, liberated Jerusalem on the basis of Isaiah 31, verse 5. He took the world. He stayed the cause. He stayed the faith. And he conquered. You can frustrate the enemy around you. You can frustrate sickness. You can frustrate the devil. You can frustrate debt. You can frustrate financial breakdown. You can frustrate family crisis. You can just take the word. Stay on the word. Do what the word says to do. This is where the miracle happens. It's not just reading it. It's not just cramming it. It's not memorizing it. It is doing what it is. After you have put it in your heart and you begin to speak it from your mouth and you start adding action to what you are saying, God will move it to action on your behalf. Today, every frustration around you shall be frustrated. Every disease in your life shall go down. It, the, the healing power of God is hitting you right now on the sick bed. In the mighty name of Jesus, the power of paralysis is dismantled. The power of financial breakdown is dismantled. Receive the wisdom now like Jerusalem Bay received to begin to recover from your financial doldrum. In the mighty name of Jesus, the wisdom that will make that business work again, receive it. The wisdom that will make that marriage work again, receive it. The wisdom that will bring back power to your life, receive it. The wisdom of God, the wisdom of God that will make that relationship work again, receive it right now. In the name of Jesus, I speak miracle upon miracles in your life. You are too defended to be a victim. Receive a miracle, defeating every frustration in your life right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. God is too righteous to let the righteous be put to shame. Now, in one verse, one sentence of 25 words, Jesus summarized the entire mission he came to the world for. One verse, one sentence of 25 words. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth on him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Heaven is real. Hell, my friend, is real. The word of God shows us the picture of heaven. It tells us a place of bliss and joy. Forever and forever. And Jesus said, only those who are born again, whose spirit man are renewed by believing in Christ Jesus will gain access to heaven. If anybody, whether religious or not, is not born again, the spirit man is not renewed by the Holy Spirit, has not developed intimate faith and relationship with, with Christ in the power of the Spirit of God, he said he will perish. It is real. This is the short form of the message. That's what Jesus came for. That's what all the preachers have been shouting all over the world since centuries. That you can have opportunity to hear the gospel of the love of Jesus and give your life to Christ. Today, if you want to escape from the reality of hell that is coming. And you want to, to enjoy the reality and the bliss of heaven. I'd like to pray for you. That is the essence of this whole message. You can defeat the frustration of hell as you invite Jesus into your life. Say, Jesus... Come into my heart. Make me your own child. Wash me. And Lord, from today, I declare that my sins are forgiven. I declare that I am born again. I declare that I'm a child of God. Thank you, Jesus, for saving me. Thank you for giving me your righteousness. Thank you for making me a child of God. In Jesus' name, amen. If you pray that prayer with all of your heart, I can say congratulations. Because you have become a child of God. Now give a call to our counseling pastors. And wherever state you are, they will direct you to the nearest uh, church, Foundation Faith Church, in of the Salem chapels, closest to where you are. 
they will direct you to where pastors can help you to get established. The Lord bless you in Jesus' name. It was in 1985. In the vision of the night, God showed me cables going from where I was standing. And it was going to infinity. Two things happened to me in that revelation. I was awed. And number two, I was afraid. I didn't know where this thing was going. Where are these cables going? And the Lord giving me this understanding, saying, this is a cable media you shall be running. 1990, October the 5th, we started on a very small TV station which covered just virtually about five kilometers radius. That's how small it was. But we're doing everything to obey God. And in 30 years plus, it has expanded all over the world. 1992, I preached my first TV message in Houston, Texas. And it's gone on and on. And today, we're walking towards launching that cable TV I saw many years ago. You can be part of God's harvest hands. Log on to www.samamagaministries.org slash give. And it will take you to a secure website where you can give. Your cards are ready. Do it now. Or for those who want to do a local transfer, see the account that I said before you. And God bless you. In Jesus' name, amen. Salem University, admitting now. Watch for the limited spaces. You can contact us on the following numbers. 081-3834-9045 or 6 a.m. daily. Log on to develop your spiritual stamina.